Good morning all, camelbacktrading.org, coming to you this Thursday morning, September 7th. Look at Window Traders market profile of the ES and NQ. So yesterday we went down on the daily in all three of our indices. And right now we're continuing, especially in NQ, to push lower. It's looking, kind of looking at Apple's chart last night. Um, I think 172 is a very, very important level for Apple to hold. They're about four or five bucks above it right now. But definitely keep that in mind as a level. Um, that Apple uh, would like to hold. Um, based on that and NVIDIA also being under some pressure, the NASDAQ is pushing lower right now. Look at the overnight highs, right near M's high for both of us yesterday. Righty, same thing. Now, righty had two sets of single prints yesterday, C and B. They're trading in their lower distribution and balance in value. And Q had a double distribution with just one set of single prints in B, but they're rather large. And right now they're trading below balance and value. And we have one set of singles in B. We're trading in balance but below value. So the market right now, we're all in different little uh, phases. Um, yesterday's volume, I was not impressed at all. Under 71 million. So sellers had a chance to do some damage. Um, it was very unimpressive. The uh, pre-market volume was very light, which was definitely a precursor to what we were going to get. Right now, we're at 400,000, but we still have 75 minutes to go. Yesterday's volume was about that at 930. So hopefully, it's going to be better. Again, sellers got what they wanted in ES yesterday, taking back the trend day from the 29th. NQ, there's still a lot more to take back. There's the large set of singles, and look at them right now, pre-market, they're in them. So any kind of weakness, we're going to finally fill this trend day from the 20, uh, 28th or 29th, whatever day it is, from uh, NQ. So keep that in mind if we get some more weakness. So game plan for this morning. Again, if NQ gaps lower and fails to fill the gap and gets the overnight low right away, certainly be looking for shorts to at least go down and fill those single prints around the 176 level, without a doubt. Okay? That would be definitely, um, you know, that's 100 points lower, and that would be a game plan. If they fill the gap and don't take out the overnight low, well, again, then you could at least recycle back up to the top of the lower distribution. As far as we go, yesterday's low is nothing to defend, right? We're down in the daily, so it's nothing to defend. So wherever the overnight low is, that's the one you might be able to take along against to see if they front run it. Although if that's the case, you're going to have at least overlap and lower value, okay? And again, just like yesterday, you know, we call that yesterday perfectly. We said if they don't fill the gap, Remember what I said yesterday morning's video. If we get the overnight low and then push up, right, which we never even did, look for shorts. Well, that played out really nice the entire morning and early afternoon. It's the same thing today, okay? Even though we might not gap lower, although we still have time, if we get the overnight low, right, any push up against value low, um, is worth the short. If they get into value, then I would wait and see how much they want to take back of the lower distribution. But I'd still be looking for shorts, okay? Because right now in the shorter day time frame, sellers are in control. And then on the chart, here's the daily. <clears throat> Tomorrow night, we'll recap all three of these indices. So we bounced off to 20 nicely yesterday. Right now, we're trading about 50 cents above it, although I'm not sure where the 20 will be once we open. Um, so below the 50, maybe above the 20. Again, those things aren't huge factors to me, but definitely something I know a lot of short-term traders do like looking at them. More importantly, the gap is my main focus. If we take out yesterday's low, then the 29th low will be our first target. Okay, And then any acceptance back into this whole balance and then you have to start looking at possibly, possibly looking down around the 433.35 level in SPY. Good luck trading today. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.